Kids these days will never understand the sheer amount of stuff we had to collect back in the 90s. You didn't even have to buy a Happy Meal back then, just to get a free bloody toy. They came in stuff like cereal boxes. I've got phone line in the middle, sharp outline. Where's, where's Shira? He's in the box, Kev. Six <laughs> fantastic football figures from Sugar Puffs! But with that said, heading down to Woolworths on your bike with your pocket money is unfortunately an experience modern day kids are never gonna get. Down Woolies, we'd raid the pick and mix. We'd grab a couple of packs of Merlins, Premier League stickers, and we would just look in awe at the sheer beauty that was our favorite footballers in miniature, big-headed form. Yes, guys, today we're once again talking Corinthians as I embark on part one of my mission of collecting every Corinthian from 95 when they were released until 1998 when they rebranded as Pro Stars. And I know what you're thinking. You, you're embarking on part one of a mission, right? You've done like three videos already on Corinthians. Yes, that's true. But look at those videos as kind of the introduction. We've, you know, laid the foundations. As of right now, we mean business. This is gonna be a series in which I document every single part of my journey to collecting all of those figures. And believe me, there's a lot of bloody figures. I didn't quite realize how many figures there were when I started this mission. But in part one today, we're gonna to be documenting how I got to this point right now. Everything that's happened in the past, how we started and how we led to this, this bloody video. Each part as we progress, we're gonna try and like tick various subsections from that main mission off the list. I'll get on to what our goal is for next week for part two and so on and so on. So it's gonna be fun documenting this journey. Ladies and gents, if you like these videos, obviously stick the thumbs up. We upload weekly night as football content. Obviously subscribe for that. And let's bloody do this. Y'all ready for this? So here I was, sat on the sofa, not quite on the sofa, we're on a bench press, but use your imagination. I was sat on the sofa after a measly failed attempt at winning four and a half million on a Netflix show, as you do. Disclaimer, I can't mention the Netflix show for legal reasons, but... I'm not gonna lie, I felt a little bit lost in life. I felt like I needed a new challenge. I'd find myself just pining for the good old days. Take me back to the 90s, when my only worry in life was how was I gonna complete my Merlin's Premier League sticker album, when Sky Sports were not quite so polite, and when we genuinely believed that football was gonna come home. The crosses of St George are flying all around me. Oh, it's saved! But then I had the realization that unless I was gonna create a time machine, if I couldn't go back to the 90s, the 90s was gonna have to come to me. So I started doing what many adult men do and just buying random stuff on eBay, trying to relive my childhood. Wrestling stuff is all right, it's good, but nothing could quite capture that night as nostalgia as some football stuff from the 90s. I mean, I like my football today, but back then as a kid, I was obsessed with everything football. So I got my mum to get my childhood kits out the loft for me, which was amazing. It was a proper throwback. But unlike some middle-aged blokes who get really aroused from retro football kits, for me, I get more of a semi. It doesn't quite get the juices flowing. But then I stumbled across a certain collectible figurine from 90s football, which sent me a real flush of blood to the brain. Corinthian football figures were definitely the one. Oh, we got there in the end, didn't we? So here I was like a nightest footballer in a strip club, just throwing around cash willy-nilly. My first purchase saw me drive an hour and a half away, somewhere in the Midlands, where I basically bought somebody else's childhood collection. Mostly Villa players, mostly opened, but we made a start on what was to become my missus's worst nightmare. Like Gaza on a night out. I didn't know when to call it a night. Overpaying for one thing after another on eBay. Why am I dancing? By this point, I discovered my favorite figure so far. Mr. Gary Penrice from QPR. Look at that bloody mustache. Just like my spending 
the spare room was becoming utter carnage. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna put all this stuff to good use. And hence, Roy's 90s nostalgia was born. YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, very 90s Roy. And whilst we're here, if you wouldn't mind uh, following on all three, that'd be great. It was off the back of social media that I started to make some Corinthian contacts, basically hardcore fans of our favourite 90s collectible. First off, we've got Craig from the ever popular Corinthian Archive website. Check out that website. Very, very helpful in me trying to find every 95 to 98 collectible. I specifically used the Corinthian headliner section, which basically is a term used for the 95 to 98 era. Then there's Andrew, who basically has been helping me out with some holy grails, such as these. Southampton figurines, probably seen that video on Instagram. Andrew basically has done what I've done, but a couple of years prior during lockdown and just said, fuck it. I wanted to collect every Corinthian. He's probably got more than what I'm trying to achieve. And then there's just top blokes like CFFC underscore 2023, who basically made me into my very own Corinthian caricature. Oh, and then I did the unthinkable, guys. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. I've only gone and reactivated an old Facebook account, haven't I? I hate Facebook. But I've done so under an alias name, a catfish name, and I've joined some of these Corinthian Facebook groups with the best one probably being a Corinthian Collectors Club. Lots of cool people on there. Oh, I kind of feel like Paul Merson when he came out bravely and just admitted all of his addictions. Ladies and gents, I'm well and truly addicted. I am very much in the deep end and there's no going back. As I'm sure many of you lads will understand, trying to keep the missus sweet during this mission has proved to be somewhat of a challenge. We've had a few bickers along the way, but we've reached a compromise, an agreement, that in order to buy these Corinthians, to fund this mad obsession, I need to sell my previous obsession. We mentioned Andrew during lockdown, kind of went mad on obviously Corinthians. For those, for me, it was a little bit different. I went mad on something that a lot of other people went mad on. Pokemon cards. So in order to keep the Mrs. Sweet, which is very important, as we all know, I need to shift boxes of this lot. The Pokemon cards need to go, and that money needs to go on collecting every 95 to 98 Corinthian. We soon outgrew the corner of the spare room, and with my other lockdown passion, the Shred Shed, the Shed Gym, gathering dust, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna pair my love of Corinthians with the Shed Gym. Hopefully, that will give me some motivation to get in the gym, because as I mentioned before, I'm kind of a Matt Letizier of training, very, very lazy, and it's not quite as dusty as it was. So it's no longer the Shred Shed, it's now Roy's 90s Nostalgia Gym. Thank you, Tim, for messaging me on Instagram with that awesome name. And yeah, so basically that leaves us now, guys, to end part one with basically showing you where we are. You've seen some of the setting, but you've also seen loads of spare wall space over there. So the aim is to obviously slowly add to the collection and completely cover the walls in Corinthians. But obviously we need structure. This is a series. So in part two, which hopefully will come next week, our aim is to complete the original England collection. Obviously, originally they released 16 figures ahead of Euro 96, but then they released some more figures um, yeah, around Euro 96 in the famous Euro 96 kit. That's a fake, by the way. So yeah, part two, hopefully we're gonna be surrounded with some Euro 96 nostalgia, and hopefully we can tick the first section off that Corinthian Archive website, which is the original England collection. We've got some over here, we've got some four packs, some boxes which come with the stands. We've obviously got the main team stand over there with some loose figures. We've got some single blister figures. In this uh, aim, in this mission, they don't have to be all in single blister packs. They can come loose, they can come boxed in four packs, in team packs, whatever. We're gonna do whatever it takes to complete the mission. But I think the England ones will be probably the first well, probably thought definitely the first, we're definitely doing that next week, next week, but they're definitely gonna be the easiest box to tick, I think. 
So there we go. It's been a mouthful. It's been fun. Hopefully you're enjoying this journey as much as me. If you did, obviously stick the thumbs up. And we'll see you next week for part two when we've completed the original England lot. And obviously in part two, we're also going to say what we're going to need to complete for part three. The aim is to tick one thing off the list with every single part in this series. Um, yeah, part, part two. I think completing that is going to be a lot easier than completing some of the other ones. Just go on the Corinthian Archive website in the Corinthian Headliner section, have a browse, there's going to be a link in the description below and you'll see what I mean by saying this mission is going to be very difficult to complete. All, all my uh, Corinthian mates I've been speaking about, they've told me, Roy, do you know what you're taking on? And I said, I didn't at the start but I bloody do now, but it's fun nonetheless. The journey is more fun than the actual destination. I'm having a laugh, hopefully you do too. This is awesome, the sun's shining. I'm even sweating now, it was cold. I've got all, all sorts of nice clobber on, but I'm ready, I'm buzzing. Let's bloody do this. See you next week. Au revoir.